What is going on everyone? Welcome to this video. My name's Hayden Davidson. It's been a while. It's been a little while, especially a little while talking about anything to do with Amazon FBA. So I wanted to clear up uh, a few things that have been going on with me, just in case anyone's wondering, uh, some of my subscribers or people that are watching, and also um, anyone that's found this video organically, let me just explain what it's all about. So that's it. That's absolutely it. I've decided to stop Amazon FBA online arbitrage. But before we go any further, I just want to do a um, little disclaimer, right? This video is nothing to do with... I'm, this is, video is not me saying, look, Amazon FBA online, online arbitrage is rubbish. No one should be doing it. That's not what I'm saying at all. Obviously, online arbitrage... I was doing it for quite some time, probably a year and a half, um, and I only decided to stop it last week. Obviously, I've still got, I had a lot of SKUs. Um, I was was on track for about a quarter of a million this year with online arbitrage, a little bit less uh, recently, but um, so obviously I'm still clearing out stock, but I'm no longer buying any more stock for online arbitrage, not even replens, it's done completely because I'm fully focusing now on building my own brand, which will still be on Amazon as well, and our own website and eBay, um, but I'm fully focusing on building my own brand. But as I say, this isn't to say that online arbitrage is rubbish and no one should do it. There's, there's still gonna be people making money out of it. I'm sure you still can make money out of it, but let me be completely honest why I am giving up online arbitrage, Amazon FBA in 2021. It's changed a lot recently. When I started Amazon, don't get me wrong, it was not easy. It was, you know, it was under two years ago. It was not easy. But I wasn't that registered, okay? And it's a lot easier, in my opinion, when you're not that registered, unless you're selling grocery stuff, because of the 0% VAT stuff. It's a lot easier, okay? But the problem is, when the VAT registered, the non-VAT registered come on to the VAT registered sellings already, you know, if it's 20% VAT, then already, you, you know, you're at risk there. And, and especially the new sellers can smash the listings right down. But recently, with the restock limits and things like that, it's it's got a lot more challenging. Now, I didn't think, I thought this would just be a temporary thing and then prices would recover unfortunately the opposite happened on a lot of stuff on a lot of listings people have decided just to take really really low margins and just always you know just keep their restock limit out they wanted to kick smash out loads and loads and loads of items and take really low roi i personally am not happy to do this so for me i decided that it was time to move on from online arbitrage now, as I say, I'm sure there's still opportunity there. I'm I'm not sure, to be honest, but there, there, there's probably people that are still going to be absolutely fine doing online arbitrage. Um, but, you know, uh, and sometimes you can get okay ROI, but for me, my ROI was getting way too low. My profit was getting way too low. I have to pay for staff. Look, if you're doing it on your own, you're not outsourcing the prep, you're not outsourcing it to virtual assistants or anything like that, you know, and you're not that registered, even if you are that registered, you can still do it. But, you know, if you haven't outsourced everything, that's fine. But for me, I, I want to grow like... I want to grow a proper business, you know. This is why I'm just focusing on building my own brand now, you know, listings that other people aren't allowed to go on. Um, you know, get the website sales as well. Build something that can eventually be sold one day, a proper company. Now, once again, not knocking it, a company, you know, businesses that don't do that. It's just the path that I want to go down. I want my profit to be up. I want stability of income to go up. That was one thing I struggled with with online arbitrage. It was, it never felt stable. You know, there's restock limits, there's things like that. Uh, a vast amount of other things, IP violations, a lot of them have been happening as well. And and for me, it just didn't feel stable enough. I didn't fancy scaling it anymore. I could, I could have, um, but margins were quite small, didn't feel like it was worth my time. I feel like now with the current experience I've got with all the, the, the layers of experience I've got, I used to do drop shipping before, now I've done online arbitrage, I've done a lot of sales, you know, I was, I was paying myself, I was, uh, you know, I was paying myself money from this business every single month, well, most months, unless I was reinvesting in the business, so I made money from it, um, and the, the, the experience it's taught me about e-commerce is great, but now I think it's time to move on and leverage that experience into creating something that can one day be sold, something that I've got an exit from, something that, that I can grow into, you know, a bit of a beast, something that I love, something that I've got a bit more of a, a, bit more of a passion towards, you know. Um, so once again, not knocking it, 
like you know great if you want to keep doing it then do it you know that's fine um for me it was time to move on um i wanted to build a brand um and that's what i'm doing now so i just want to let everyone know that at uh, and that's sort of where we're up to at the moment obviously i will still be doing videos but the videos on this channel are going to be more sort of yeah just just, just yeah they're going to be interesting i'm not going to not going to say much more they're going to be interesting there's probably going to be a podcast on the way soon um yeah really niching down my time and getting really specific on what i'm focusing on now so yeah i will yeah i'll let you know close to the time but um yeah the, the normal out, out goes please give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already to keep up with my journey I will see you all very, very soon. Thanks so much for watching, everyone.